All right, guys. Um, I am going to upgrade my speakers that are in my TJ. These are five and a quarter speakers. Um, so I go to Walmart today and I found these Sony's. Um, they were about thirty-five bucks for two of them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set my phone in a specific place. I'm going to play a song and let you listen to this one speaker. Um, a kind of controlled environment and then I'm gonna hook up one of these new speakers and I'm gonna do the exact same thing put the phone in the right place play the same song at the same exact volume everything so um, give me just a moment Let's check out what's in the box so we got some speaker wire and some instructions that you can't get out. No, I'm just kidding. Just bust it all out. There we go. Alright. There we go. Basically looks identical to the uh, factory speaker. Um, just with a tweeter set up. So. Here's the info. You can read that. Okay. Get another spin around it. But uh, so basically, 220 watts per speaker, uh, four ohm. That's a five and a quarter. Rated power, 35 watts. So it's a four way. Uh, the ones, the factory speakers, are they just they're distorted. I mean, they're, they're paper, they're paper speakers. Um, and there's nothing wrong with paper speakers. My truck system still sounds pretty good. It needs to be replaced. Uh, but I mean, low volume is distorted. I mean, something's wrong, something's wrong with these speakers. Um, so I would say the thing, there is something that I notice is that the speaker, I mean, the, excuse me, the magnets differences. Um, now, the Sony Explode uh, looks better. It will bolt right in place. Um, not plug right in place. I had to put the wires in. Uh, but, I mean, you, if you're watching this, I'm, I hope you already know how to do that. Um, splicing the wires. And it comes, it, the uh, Explodes, the new speakers, they come with cable, they come with the cords that just splice right in. But anyway, uh, so there's the differences in the two. Gonna look this is the factory literally the factory this is uh i'm using my front facing camera so uh, anyway you can tell it's a factory speaker now, i don't know if it's the original it kind of looks like it it's got all the the factory glue and such on the back of it it was, it was pretty stuck in there i'm gonna say this is the factory 2003 speaker so it's um 2003 four five six seven it's 2017 actually about to be in 2018 this is November so um, 15 years so 15 year old speaker depending on the manufacturer data that's key but anyhow so $35 speaker swap I mean I, I looked online like Quadratech they had some, some plug and play I think it was an exact replacement it's like a hundred bucks for two of these I need something to get me by right now I'm gonna upgrade the sound system later to a uh, sorry about the lighting I'm gonna upgrade it later to like marine speakers, but for 35 bucks, I mean, you can't go wrong with this. It's gotta sound better. Uh, and I'm gonna hook one up and it does. So anyway, so enough talking. Uh, like I said, I've got one new and one original still in. I'm gonna let you listen to them. All right, so here we go. So those of you, I've got the factory stereo. Um, I do have a sub wired into all this. Um, but what I did is I've got this turned all the way up. I'm connected through Bluetooth using my iPad. Uh, sorry, I'm using my phone. I usually got a, a GoPro or something. Uh, but anyway, so I've got this turned all the way up. I've got the faders turned to the rear speakers only, which is all I'm doing, left and right. So I'm gonna turn it to the just the one. And I got the EQ in the middle, right? So 
here we go. So what I did was this is turned wide open. I got my iPad turned to level 10 on here. And I'm gonna play this one song. This is the speaker that we're dealing with. Oop, this one right here. So I don't know what the audio is gonna sound like. It's not that I think the audio from this phone is going to really uh, show off what these speakers sound like, but you'll see the difference, I hope. Uh, I hope I hear a difference. Um, pardon my face, I've been mowing grass and it's, it's South Mississippi, it's November the 5th and it's 80 something degrees outside, so ugh. Anyway, so here we go, set at zero, iPad set at level 10, stereo set wide open, subs turned off, all other speakers turned off but this one. Here we go. All right, <laughs> let's take two on this. So I, I wasn't thinking I couldn't use uh, copyrighted music. All right, so here we go. I've got um, the iPad is set to a specific volume. The stereo is turned uh, full blast. Uh, the, the, the iPad is controlling the volume. So I've got the fader set to the rear speakers only, which is all I'm fooling with. And then I'm gonna pan it left to right. Uh, the EQ is set to zero in the middle. Uh, I got the factory stereo. So they'll be set to, to that. Um, I've got no EQ on Spotify playing. So I'm gonna play the old speaker first. Shut my engine off. I'm gonna play the old speaker first, and then I'm gonna play the uh, new speaker. Uh, I'm gonna play them both about 30 seconds. Uh, so here we go. This is the original factory speaker. It's gonna be on this side right here. And like I said, I got you kind of in the middle, uh, in the middle of the truck or, or Jeep. I'm sorry. It's a, just a 2003 TJ. So here we go. About 30 seconds worth. That's 30 seconds. All right, I'm gonna pan it back to this side. All right, so the cone, the original speakers are, uh, I mean, they got a paper cone and the, it's a paper speaker with a, a center cone. These new ones are four-way speakers. Now my issue is mid-range, what I'm trying to get out of this, sorry about the lighting on and off. What I'm trying to get out is mid-range. I've got a subwoofer in the back to handle all the bass but I need some mids. Now, um, let me let you listen to this and I'm gonna tell you what I think. I'm panned all the way, nothing's changed, pan it all the way left, beginning of the song, I'm gonna play 30 seconds of it. <laughs> Okay, so what I hear with my own ears, the difference uh, between new and old is kind of what I wanted. These are four-way speakers, like I said. I hear I hear more treble and I hear more uh, mid-range. It is trying to handle the bass. Uh, what I'll do is I'll pull the bass out on the, uh, on the uh, head unit. Now, I will say this. Uh, sounds like more bass coming out of the old speaker than it is the new uh, but I do have more mid-range clarity that makes sense that doesn't make sense uh, and that's just what I'm hearing in my own ears I don't know what this camera I don't know what my phone is gonna portray I'm out here it's hot I just thought about doing this so I'm gonna do a quick video um, so I don't know if that camera microphone portrays that but I'm giving you the details um, they're both distorting slightly uh, this one's distorting slightly that one's distorting a lot 
But the difference is when I turn this the new one down, when I turn the Sony Explode down to low volume, it is clear, crystal clear, sounds beautiful. When I turn the old speakers down, it's still distorted. It's distorted from zero up. So they were, they're busted or something, or just old, I don't really know. Um, eventually I'm gonna change these out to like some marine grade speakers, probably these bigger. I think I can finagle a six and a half in there. Uh, a six and a half, the six and a half subwoofer style with some tweeters built in or something. I, or either I'm gonna buy a whole new light bar, uh, sound bar. Like I said, I got a sub in the back. I'll do a review on that some other day. But uh, I'm gonna show you. We'll start this over. I'm gonna put just a little bass from the back. Blend them together. And play it one more time. So let's see if the phone can portray this. Oh yeah, lots of clarity. So I'm gonna wrap this up. Um, so Sony Explode, uh, gave you our information already. I bought them at Walmart for $35. This is a 2003 Jeep TJ. Those are stock five and a quarters I just replaced. Um, great upgrade. So like and subscribe, appreciate it. I know the last couple of videos have just been videos with some music overlay and I'm talking a lot in this one. I'll do a few more reviews, um, but this is Project TJ and um, first Jeep I've ever had and I'm totally in love with it but first thing I realized was the stereo sucked uh, it had a literally total factory stereo system I'm gonna eventually upgrade the entire thing but right now I'm just bits and pieces um, I've got some engine stuff I need to deal with but uh, before I really dive off into some crazy um, modifications uh, right now I'm just enjoying it I drive it uh, I've been driving to work every day I drive like 45 miles one way to work and I've been driving it every day I'm just getting hang of it I've got air conditioning on the yard it's hot it's South Mississippi I had to have AC so hope you like like and subscribe appreciate you guys all you guys that watch uh, I don't have a ton of subscribers I don't have a ton of people watching uh, but I know you guys from the Jeep uh, Facebook sites you're diving in here uh, you guys from the Jeep sites if you'll tell me what you want I mean give me some ideas Tell me what you would like to see because uh, one of the reasons I do some of these videos is because I couldn't find enough, I couldn't find the right information uh, on YouTube. Uh, trying some mod, uh, like I'm looking for bumpers and such. I'm a little different. I like doing crazy things, but uh, send me some ideas. If it's something I'm gonna do, I'll make sure that I make a video about it and I'll go in depth and uh, I'll do a full review. If any of you guys from the Jeep forum uh, on Facebook or anybody who watches this. If you're around South Mississippi, I live in Loosedale, Mississippi. If you're around South Mississippi and you have a modification, uh, I would be happy to come over and bring my camera and we'll do a uh, we'll do a, a how-to or a DIY or whatever. I'm all about it. I, man, I got so many hobbies, it's crazy. So I'm all about DIY. Uh, I'm really, uh, I'm in the process. I got it on my mind. I wanna make my own custom front bumper. Uh, kind of an in-between stinger bull bar type idea anyway so i'm all about diy so if you got any ideas shoot them my way uh comment below share the video uh it really helps me out and uh like i've said before in some of my previous videos um i don't really do this for money i do have monetized videos and it does help me out uh but i really do it for the fun i love making videos and i love the good memories and i love to look back and see what i've done so appreciate you guys appreciate everybody and god bless you later